All right, as the crusade approaches, the time for it comes. We are nearing our crusading goal with our troops and we will definitely for a short moment lead our troops ourselves so we get the crusader thing. Oh no. Oh goodness me. Oh no 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 no. It's not great. Let's all kind of come together in Armenia. I did not expect that to happen. But it'll be fine. It's all basically war effort, war score that happens for us. Not too shabby that it happens. We might even win this one. Because we have the advantage and they have no morale. Haha. <laughs> cool. So this blob is definitely jumping on us in a moment. Ooh, more crusaders. Let's reinforce. Let's be even more crusaders in this battle. Oh no, brave 100 are now not brave 100 anymore. Let's attach to this army real quick. So where are we at? At 59% perfect. That's what you want. You want to start out strong. Because usually, um, these don't adjust all that much anymore. Let's stand these guys down. They're not going to make it. And also, we're going to stand these guys down. Once they have reached their point of no return. Which might just be in a battle. Which they have no adjust. Well, that's... Just a, from, from the fire into the frying pan, basically. Okay, yeah, we have converted the province, and the Pope totally acknowledges this. Let's uh, party with the troops, and we have become wounded from it. All for a good book, right? Right? Yeah. Alright, um, let's real quick just lead the troops for a moment. No, once we're there, I don't, I don't want to jinx it by leading too early. Who's not on the roster here? This guy. Who can we imprison? End your plot, please. Only 42% chance to imprison him. Factions. Live with it. Alright, okay. So what can we get here? A bunch. Um, legalism might be good. Opens up some more inheritance levels for us, I think. So we could actually try and work towards uh, Ultimogenian Tour. Now he converted something, meaning he is free to convert something new. And we're going to start out up here. Where there's still pagans roaming the world. And we are involved in more and more battles. We haven't reached the Holy Land yet. Or rather the, the target of the Crusade, so we wouldn't get Crusaders from putting our commanders in as you can see none of them have gotten the crusader trade yet but that is a big yet we have a very small contribution so don't expect us to come out smelling like roses we're not going to get the crazy amount like 7,000 gold or something but we will get some that much is certain oh look the muslims are also fighting amongst each other that's, that's good all right we're about to reach egypt so for a moment we will lead our troops ourselves and then teleport back home just so we get the crusader trade. Nope, we're not. What the hell are you doing? Okay, we will uncouple here, walk over here for a moment so we touch down on Egypt. Deus Volt indeed, and now we switch ourselves out immediately for this other guy again. Disallow ourselves from leading troops and we move right back up north to join up with the Crusader armies because we don't want to get crushed by any of these. That, that much is sure. We want to join the big blob. That's where we're going. Strength in numbers. 
Alright, there we go. All good now. For some reason, from earning 3,000 gold, we're down to earning 1,450 because our war contribution is only 3% anymore. Not sure how that works, but okay then. It might just be that we're not contributing enough troops for anything, but any amount of gold we get out of this is good. Because right now we have basically nothing. Which isn't true, we're pretty decent, pretty well off for what we are. But of course it can always be better, there can always be more money. And as we beat the Abbasid army, the Crusader host prepares to invade El Arish. Strong and in full force and for some reason our troops jumped the gun and were absolutely obliterated and left behind by a whole Crusader host that tagged them along. You saw that, right? Like we were attached to this army and only our army went through here while the others walked around there. And now all our troops are done and killed. We have lost every single soldier down here. No, we didn't. What? This says we still have... Oh no, this is unraised. What the hell just happened? This is jumping around like crazy as well. This was way less earlier. Um. Yeah, we're going to send some more troops then. All that we have left, as it stands. But this time we're going to bunch them up since they're 800 and... Wait, 800, can we maybe get enough ships for that? I mean, yeah, we could, sure. But then we sail all the way around there. I think it doesn't really matter if we walk or, or sail. It's probably about the same. Oh, look, another sun, which isn't great. This just means more succession loss. Let's make him faithful. We can spread the true faith once he comes of age and let him... Um, Princess of the Latin Empire. That sounds bigger than it probably is. Latin Empire. Where is that? Oh, that's a princess. Where is your Latin Empire you speak? Oh, that's the Latin Empire. Oof. Not a whole lot left there. Of the Byzantines. So yeah, that's a shame. Our army was just entirely wiped out. But at least we weren't part of it. So we're still alive. Which I think is fantastic. The good stuff. Alright, come together, boys and girls. Quickly now, quickly. The crusade will not wait for us forever. 5,000 gold would still be fine, but um, if we can get more, we want more. Of course, our small contribution of 1,000 troops is just not gonna matter. So let's send them down here to Jerusalem and see what happens. Uh, we can put away our attention for a bit, but all this is already pretty much set up as it should be. Very good. Some extra tax money rolling in. As the castle town is being built to increase our tax income even further. Recruit your child. How are we still in this? Let's leave this. I mean, it's kind of interesting that we weren't thrown out anyway. Would we join again? No. So, so we get rid of all the missions there. Not that they're terribly bad for us, but they're also not really great for us either. Uh, maybe when we had the 5,000, our, um, our marshal was doing really well. That might have been the case. Never really know. I wish we were still attached to that blob there. They're just walking around them. 
feels a little bit cowardly, if you ask me. Why not use your full strength and fight them, face them? Right now you're just kind of dying in the desert. Okay, we want the coins both for glory and coin. I would say. Look at the glorious crusader host. <laughs> Choosing battle. Finally. Ah, very good. Our castle town is built. And what else could we do? Stables, sure. All these are kind of fine, but the keep and the training ground is really where it's at. That's what's gonna put us ahead of the curve there, but it's also really expensive. Warrior gathering ground. Heavy infantry defense. Hmm. Let's go with the cheapest option real quick. Are oh, we no longer deceitful? Good. Did end your plot. Come on now. Just trying to fabricate a claim on us. Pretty fine because he can't attack us anyway. He has a non regression pact with us. For as long as he lives. Rather, for as long as our girl lives. Our troops are nearing the battlegrounds for Christendom. We don't have sight on the big blob anymore. Only some crusader armies fighting their crusader battles. They're just sitting there like a roadblock. Okay, where's this big blob going? Since there are no factions anywhere, we don't really need to obligate him to stay out. Let's attach to this one. They're sieging. They're sensible. And doing something for this. Attached to this big blob. How are we doing? The Kagan foils assassins. Not even their assassins were possibly capable of assassinating this man. Look at that. We have gained victory just as we arrived. Of course, our troops are the only ones that made this possible. Without us, this would not have happened. I'm really looking forward to turning our attention back home. But again, the crusade is going to be a great boon to us. We can build another castle for ourselves. Local build time modifier, local build cost modifier. Oh yeah, we support the carpenters. We earn a little bit less tax, but it'll be offset easily enough. Did we get this? No. Prince of Antioch got this. And why are we not attached to that army? I told you to attach to this army. Did I not? We're going to miss all the good stuff of the crusade. Come on now. Into the breach. Yeah. We can't attach to them. For some reason. Some arcane reason. This allows us from attaching. Let's go to them. Maybe see what's happening there. Our <laughs> our share dwindles. But we'll get there. Child, do you need education? Clearly this. Not our strongest point, but... I don't always go by strongest point. No one is attacking these. They're all just kind of wandering around them. 
Deluva. Is that our main thing? Deltuva now. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just support them. Care about a little bit of tax. Okay, can we attach here? Very good, we can. So now we are part of something bigger again. Always appreciate. Our troops can help a cure war score again. At least potentially, depending on how things move. What is this? They are not attacking, we are not attacking. What is this? And why are there sometimes armies moving through there? You can see how there are crusader armies just moving across them. See, there's something blue there. Ah, we have joined battle once more. Our brave Lithuanian soldiers. This is really weird. So very often crusades do end fairly abruptly, even if there's no 100% war score, so... We'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Can't imprison him if I don't have enough troops to actually face him up here. And as you can see, I do not have enough troops to actually face him up here. Could we already start building another castle? Almost. Need just 27 more gold. So while we have very clear goals, uh, my choice for now is going to be building up. Our base of power. There's no man better at increasing the church's opinion for me than to teach me to become a uh, court chaplain Mindaus. I need to talk to the church, Mindaugus. Sure. I mean, it doesn't really affect us much, so we'll just pick that. Why are we moving this way, my dear brothers? Why are we going north again? Why do I constantly hitch my horse to the wrong wagon? Why are we go- are you kidding me? Unattach! This is crazy! Really need to keep a better eye on this. They're costing us gold, real gold, thousands of gold. By going north to, to face some weird rebellion thing. My goodness. So attaching to armies isn't always the most secure option to actually get what you want. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Assassins are destroyed. Well, well, well. Look at all the war score we get. Oh no, that's fantastic, isn't it? I don't want to walk through these. Let's walk here. And try and reach the brothers that are actually fighting. I want to fight. Darn it. I don't want to do a big vacation thing. I want to do battle. I want to win. I want to free the, the Egyptians from Muslim oppression. I really get don't get this army here. What is this? What are you? Tell me your secrets. They seem kind of bugged. It just kind of seemed bugged to me. And we are definitely running headlong into a much larger, stronger army. Which I would prefer not doing. We'll wait for them to move away. So we can join our brothers down here in defense of their position. And no, that's... The pathfinding here on auto is... Um, yeah. More than adventurous, it likes to go where things are bad. Not quick enough, eh? And we're also not going to be quick enough for this battle. Oh, we're immediately involved, so that's cool. We will be reinforced by our brothers. Oh, hello there. 
Oh no. This means he did something bad. You don't get this much money for nothing. So let us spend it. <laughs> I mean, the worst that could happen. Let's build another castle here. We could become a bitter rival with our steward. Which is still fine. In my opinion. Still fine. Okay, let's attach to this army, maybe? I'm really kind of looking for something to siege with, but... Okay, we can't attach to them. Let's walk like that. Not like that. We go like that. We go our own path now. We go attack Cairo. How well are you protected? Not very. We might actually be able to siege there with our 50 troops. Looks like a really bad idea what we're doing here. There's probably more troops coming in that we don't see there. But we will seek battle still. Brave Crusaders. Losing. Hard. And we walk the wrong direction again. Honestly, it's kind of like Egypt is a negative pulled magnet and we are a positive pulled magnet. And it's just every time we get close, we get thrown back out. Either we get completely destroyed and killed or we just <laughs> get partially destroyed and killed. Let's attach to the papal army. They probably don't need to go back to fight rebellions. Their parents don't make them go to bed at 8. This is really hard. We just want to kill some infidels. Why is it so hard to kill infidels these days? When I was a kid, killing infidels was easy. I still can't attach to the papal army. Why not? Let me attach to the papal army, please. I... I'm like derpy for the Pope. Come on, let me be a fanboy. Let me ride in his tailcoat. I just have to shadow him manually. Well, that's fun. Let's anticipate the Pope's moves. To potentially be places where he is going. We definitely know he's not going there. That that's that's a certainty. We just attach. Okay, where are you going, Pope? You're going there. Sure, we'll follow. We'll go there too, Pope. And now he goes there. A very good plan, Pope. I swear we're going to be just caught out at the end of this. Um, let's put him up. He's annoyed he doesn't have a job, so let's give him a job there. Enjoy. Don't die, please. I have to anticipate where the Pope goes. We'll always be a little bit slower than them. And there we go. There we get caught. I'm done with this. Whatever we get out is whatever we get out. I'm done with this war. I am so done. Our brave Lithuanian troops are just constantly destroyed in Egypt. Or they maybe have some sort of Lithuanian repellent or something, like some some Lithuanian force field or something. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, I don't really... Not, let's have a quick look here. Poland. Hey, Poland. Are you up for a betrothal? I have these kids there. You have a betrothal for this kid? No. You're worthless. Hey, you guys. I have this boy for your crones. No. I don't have anything either. We don't need Minsk. I know we don't need Minsk. Remember not needing Minsk. 
Here. But you don't wanna. Political concerns. Yeah, political concern. When you aim on the Novigrod. Are you a merchant republic? You are a merchant republic, so working with them means nothing. Nothing. Aren't we like with the Danish? Aren't we like super close with them? Oh yeah, let's have an alliance with the Danish. Maybe we can get an alliance with the Swedish too. How about it? Sweden? Yes! Good stuff. Oh, what? Oh man, kill the king. I wish these counted. Like, killing a king should count, you know? It should just count. Hey, you want the non-aggression pact, you silly kid? Oh no, we were defeated. What a crazy ha random happenstance. How ever could that have happened? See where our troops flee to. And Sweden wants an alliance too. Chancellor of the Livonian Order has gotten a... Well, lucky us, we just formed a few alliances because the Livonian Order, which is the Teutonics, have generated a claim on our realm, which is really, really, really uncool. Speaking of really, really uncool. Let's see if we can attach to these fools, which I don't think we can. Nope. I don't understand. Something is off with this war can't attach, we can't get into this. <laughs> yeah, sure, have some money for research. They are going a different direction. I just want to contribute. Let me contribute. Oh, there's a war happening, there's a battle. We could join that and then jump over to where he is. Maybe. Like leapfrog. And potentially actually do something. With our very, very important army. Our very important crusader army. Yes, we're getting into Egypt. Look, we have done it. We have gotten past the repellent. The Lithuanian repellent that they have set up all around to repel the Lithuanians, which is us. Finally. Look! Look, our men are like digging trenches here and they're trading war stories around the campfire with the papal army and they, they, they're waving hi to the Irish that are walking by and, and they're making good friends and. Oh, that's all great. Modest measures has been added to our treasury. It doesn't sound very interesting. Monthly wealth plus one plus one stewardship. Okay, I, I like this. This is good. For an income of 11 gold, this is a 10% increase, basically. So I am taking that one. Thank you very much. What? Someone has usurped something. Oh, look at that. Look at that, our vassal. Our vassal pushing the borders of the realm. Good on you. Well done, my boy. Well done. You've done us proud. Uh, that's good. I like that. Look. Look at how we're storming. And we were part of this. Look, we... We were part of this. Look at that. And now we're still and we're helping. And we're, we're building catapults and trebuchets and... We're, we're collecting stones to throw at them with the catapults and the trebuchets. How did you become non-Christian again? Come on now. And it's all great. We're finally part of something bigger. We have become a falconer on top of everything. Well, ain't that grand? 
Uh, by the way, we should remember that most of this income is due to our insane stewardship level. This is crazy. This is a huge amount of uh, stewardship. You don't usually get this. Speaking of you don't usually get this. Who are you? Why do you taunt your allies with your presence? You're not doing anything. You're just sitting there. Being angry. It's annoying to look at. Well, at least the crusade is going well. At some point we might have earned 6,000 gold. Imagine that. But from the bottom half of all this here, we're still coming out quite well. We even get a whole artifact. Only the top three slots give, get one. And there's even ones that go nothing out of it. And we certainly can use the prestige and piety in everything. This is going to be a good... No! We need to move with the papal army. P papal army. Almost said with a pape, but... I don't know why my brain usually wants to make pape out of Pope. Oh, no! Look, now we... Now even the Crusaders have Lithuanian repellent. Don't they run away from us? Come on, friends. Aren't we all friends? Let's be friends, friends. I don't know, I feel like... I, I really feel like we don't have all that many friends and it hurts a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it hurts a tiny little bit. That this is so difficult <laughs> to get our armies in there and, and contribute. We just want to be a good crusader, okay? Speaking of just wanting to be a good crusader, let's uh, see if we can't get some crusader um, storylines happening. We can't attach to anyone. See, there we go. So we could get a noble scepter. Or we could gold. I want the noble scepter. Give me that. We don't have a noble scepter yet, so so I buy it. Good. Oh, well, look at it. It's very noble and sceptery. And all we had to do is give away money that wasn't ours to begin with. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I think our city is done. Isn't that? A granddaughter? Dear granddaughter, be something good. What do you want? Yeah, sure, let's become a student of language. Enrico, the king of Sicily. Anyone matrilineal up for this? Hohenstaufen. The Roman Empire Hohenstaufen. Let's throw our bloodline out there a little bit, like a fishing rod. And you better become something good. Oh, he's... Oh, I've never seen Sturdy, I don't think. It's the small little brother of Brawny. <laughs> Not as good, but it's also fun. Yes, let us get drunk at the local tavern. And we become a close friend with our wife? Yeah. For some reason, drinking at the Crusades uh, makes us a friend with our wife. That's the kind of relationship most men dream of. So for being as small as we are, really got the most out of this, I think. Really neat. It's really neat. We did well. Okay. Very good. Now we have some money to spend, which is good because we just completed this here and we definitely want the castle town. And we also want to upgrade the keep here. Because that's important. We want more troops out of what we got. And again, as a reminder, if you're new here or you're just returning to Crusader Kings or something, at least in Crusader Kings 2, I have no idea about 3 because it's not out yet. Um... Building one particular tile up really, really strong makes you extremely strong because you concentrate all your counselors here anyway. So all 
potential benefits, bonuses that you get for that one county that you have as your main county are going to affect all your holdings. And if you have just like three castles to your own name in one county, you become an absolute powerhouse. You can become even stronger if you stretch them out and have more counties, but with our election or rather our inheritance laws right now, we would lose most of these other counties. So I'm not really up for it, but that's no issue. We can also check here and we might want to work toward some of this, but we need late feudal administration, which we can do right now, which opens us up to more inheritance laws which is good so we have ultimo and primogenitor as options here we need to reign for 10 years and we have no vassals with a negative opinion of us so i feel like we might want to switch to a different focus for a while because we have all the business stuff we need in the world i don't think diplomacy is going to do it but we might try carousing and get friendly with these people. Or we could go for war focus and duel this dude to get rid of him. However, he is much better than us at fighting. So maybe befriending him could be a better option. We could of course always try and also kill him. So let's try and plot to kill him. We can do everything at once. We don't need to stick to just one decision here. So I feel carousing is better if we want to work towards uh, switching out our succession law. Let us invite our vassals carousing. Can't invite him carousing because he is not at peace, he's at war. Who are you at war with? Oh, he's fighting there. And you are fighting for what exactly? The Lithuanian conquest of this thing, which is going nowhere yet. Oh no, Lithuania is our home. We're not going to go with our nephew who now holds this here. We could become this, but I don't want to. <laughs> Doesn't want an alliance either. Okay, so this guy agreed to carousing, which generally if you only carouse with one person, there's a good chance of you becoming friends, which is nice. So he is losing this one. Oh, is he? Yeah, he is. No wonder. He has mainly light infantry and the, the Teutonics are mainly, it looks like, heavy cavalry, honestly. Well, they have a lot of both. At least. So this is a fool's errand. Okay, so the Grandmaster has several claims on us now. Which I don't see here anywhere. Oh, because he hasn't used them yet. Not sure why he's not using them. He hasn't used either of the ones he has generated. Why even generate them if you're not using them? Who are you at war with now? Are you defending against the Kaiser? Which is good because... Now that you've lost, or rather left, uh, let's get our spy master. It needs some sight around here. Over here is good. I want to watch this army walk away. Because as they are gone, we are going to declare also a holy war for this. And our troops are going to be there quicker than the ones of the Holy Roman Empire. So we will get this peace. And we will definitely call in our allies for this because we are not super strong right now. We're just jumping on the opportunity because the, before the Holy Roman Empire gets uh, to do this correctly, we might actually consider getting some uh, mercenaries too. We can't really afford them, but with the Crusader money that we've got going, it's better than nothing. And they're pretty cheap here. So that's just some bodies to throw at the wall. So let's do that. Okay, no carousing for us, but we need to move quick and fast here. Before the enemy... ...for some reason materializes out of thin air right in front of us. Come again? 
What's this? Where did those come from? What? We had sight on everything here. Where did these guys come from? Oh god. What? You saw that, right? You saw the materialize out of thin air, didn't you? Need to be quick about all this now. And I don't want to lead troops anymore. This was just a fun thing to do while the crusade was on, you know. Okay, so the Swedish are still mustering and the Danish are already on the move. Oh no. One of our commanders was killed on the battlefield. Oh look at who we could... Turn into a commander. You know who's not going to do this right now? You. No! We lost! No! That's impossible! Where is the Holy Roman Empire when you need them? They, they should have taken care of this. Oh man, what a bad gambit. I am not starting out well on the war front on this one. This is really not going too well. But you know for whom it's going to be even worse? This guy. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again, shall we? This time we don't cross a major river and maybe we don't die. And maybe our allies show up at some point. To actually do alliance stuff. Like help and be there in our time of need and this guy is coming here now of course so we would attack across the river again so we have to kind of walk all the way around here to attack him not across the river my goodness this was a good plan it was just extremely poorly executed and it's still being extremely pure, poorly executed. But this time he's not getting away. This time we're fighting. And this time you don't get an advantage either. This time it's mano a mano. And this time your center breaks instantly. Because it has 98 people. Oh no, that's what's happening. He has like this crazy strong flank. And he keeps destroying me. What? That is completely silly, what's happening here right now. It's completely silly. We're no longer temperate. Our court chaplain has abused his office. Good stuff. Well done, boy. Thank you for throwing a bad light on me. Alright, let's get this now. An actual Christian, please. Catholic, a good Catholic. I'm lucky that the Holy Roman Empire hasn't shown up yet. Take this land. Okay, let's see if the Swedes can win this. Come on, Sweden. What? Okay. Sweden? Attach. Come on now. Attached to me. Together, the might of Sweden and Lithuania can beat whatever the hell this is. The hellhounds, the tribes from the northern coastlines. And where the hell are you going, Sweden? What are you doing? Why are you taking the long way around? Come on, man. Join up. He's sieging! He's winning! Where are you? Sweden, please. Please, Sweden, no, don't. He's, he's getting in a good position now. We can't catch him anymore. 
We have to walk all the way around. What is this? This this black magic. This tribe. This crazy, insanely strong tribe. Come on now. And these guys. They're no help. Come on, we can do it. This time we can win it. Yes. Yes, we're doing it. Finally, we're doing it. My god. What an awful, awful, awful war this has been so far. Okay, hey, um... So... You know what we're gonna do? Sweden, go hunt the enemy. We, on the in the meantime, are going to retake our own stuff, because this shouldn't have a large garrison yet. Oh, we are multilingual now. Very good, so now we go here. And start sieging. What we came for taking. This is going to be a long one because I want to finish this. I don't know if we have... Nope, that's not enough troops. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's still not enough troops. I am, I am saddened. By my own inability of doing anything here. I'm just... I'm just not doing well. Sweden is saving the day. I was really, really misjudging all this. Absolutely misjudging all of it. What a travesty. What a farce. Uh, he, he has gotten the scent of blood again, Sweden. So he's after them. He'll take them out. Maybe Denmark will eventually appear here. You could join there, you know. Help my vassal out. Come on, move. Yeah, very good. Because our vassal, I think, is fighting something in the south to take it over. And I like that. Good for us. But he... No, he won. He won. So how's your war going? In favor of this guy. Our vassal is winning. Let's move here. We don't want to siege there anymore. We already sieged all we need to siege. Where is the Holy Roman Empire? Not coming anymore. Are you guys coming? Are you guys coming? I have too few troops to siege. Help. He's still not using the titles. He's... Oh, no. There he goes. Oh no, it was a different one. Which one of you fools did it? What? This guy. What claim do you have? Oh, of course you have a claim on the whole duchy. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you have a claim on the whole duchy? Can I get a holy order? Well, they cost us money. Why? I'm attacking in a holy war. It costs us nothing. Okay, let's check our own military options. Let's split our own troops. A smaller size is our own, so we will stand them down. Which of course we can't because there's 500 of the men enemy roaming around. So let's see if we lose again, eh? That's gonna be fantastic. This is so treacherous. This is so misleading. 
because we break the center immediately and then he has this weirdly weirdly strong flank that just completely crushes the rest of the world it's so odd oh thank god we captured him personally yes thank you very good absolutely worthwhile okay let's create this duchy title which we're definitely going to lose right now but if we lose the pressed claim up here so through inheritance we would lose it because we don't have ultimo genitor yet but we could try and make this a quick thing if we stay out of wars how old are we 53 not a good age Oof, 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 oof. If we create and lose it, that's not good. Let's stand on these guys. Ay, ay, ay. Chaplain. Yeah, the guy we imported. Go and convert up there. So who hates us? This guy we can placate with a gift. We didn't even need to do that. Have a gift and join my plot. Where are you? Oh yeah, we can just set him to collect taxes here and then we push our plot power here and that's what we're gonna try and do we kill him then we change the succession law so we get everything sounds good sounds like a somewhat of a plan all right thanks you for what thank you for watching and see you around bye bye